So today we're going to be talking about how tooth shape can influence your aligner treatment results. So when we want to straighten our teeth, we actually are looking at the different stages that happen. And what happens is the teeth move step by step from their old positions into new positions. So what this means is that the tooth which is far back comes outwards or the tooth which is too far forward comes backwards. So when we look at different views, we can see teeth are straight, but when we look from the front on view, we might notice some small things. And this is what we're gonna be talking about today. So as we talked about, there are so many different positions that teeth can start in. Sometimes they can start behind other teeth. Sometimes they can start in front of other teeth. Sometimes they can be overlapping or spaced. But what this does is like the original position the tooth is in influences how you chew on that tooth and how it's used. When we compound that over many years, it means that like some teeth will be shorter or different shapes than other ones. And this is something that we need to understand. So before we think about what has changed, let's think about the kind of shapes that we have. So there are three types of natural tooth shapes. So there's rectangular, triangular, or oval. So if we have a little look here, we've made some outlines for you. Rectangular teeth have straight parallel edges. So they're straight and they touch each other fully. They fit next to each other and there's no gaps at the bottom. Triangular teeth, what happens is they are literally triangles. So the edges slope outwards and down and naturally have a space between the teeth where the teeth meet called a black triangle. And the third type is an oval shaped tooth. This is rounded at the edge. So as it rounds here, we naturally have little space at the bottom called embrasures. So these are the natural tooth shapes. So we have to understand that. So how do aligners transform your smile? You see, aligners don't change the shape of your teeth. They transform your smile by moving the teeth from their original position into a new position and they work by applying a constant pressure. So teeth move a fraction of a millimeter each time. So things that we have to understand is that if we think about teeth, let's just talk about like lower incisors or upper incisors. Even if we've got a pair of teeth, they are not twins. They are sisters or brothers. So they're slightly different. So just like in nature, no two flower petals are exactly the same. All teeth vary in size and thickness. So when teeth are next to each other, we notice that a thicker tooth next to a slightly thinner tooth can give a slight variation and that's normal. The other thing is the worn down edges as we were talking about. So when you've got teeth which were in an original position and then they move into a new position, I'm gonna show you some images, they can appear uneven even though they're in the right position. And this is because the tooth has a chipped edge. And the third factor is triangular teeth. You see, when teeth are overlapping, they generally are triangular shaped teeth. So when we uncross them, we naturally notice a little space between the teeth, even though the teeth are fully touching. So let's have a little look. So here's an example where the front teeth are overlapping and same with the lower teeth. Now you see this tooth was further outwards. What you have to imagine is when the person chews and they move from side to side, this edge was like going like this at an angle on the other teeth. So it wore down at an angle. So even though the teeth are straight, it looks uneven because the edge is like that. And there's a very simple solution to do that. Other situations are naturally worn down teeth edges. So here we've got some chipping. Here we can see that like some of the other ones have been more worn than other ones. And again, very simple solutions to contour or bond and we can explain how that works. And the other one we talked about is the black triangles. So when you've got the triangular shaped teeth and the teeth overlapping, and the teeth are touching, we naturally have a little space between the teeth and that's normal. So if you've watched our previous videos, you, you probably know the solution to this. This is cosmetic bonding. So example here, these teeth are completely straight. They're touching each other, but there are portions missing from the edges of the teeth. So as we can see here, by bonding a durable and um, artificial enamel to the edge of the tooth, you can actually restore the edges exactly as you want them to be. This can also be done for triangular shaped teeth. So we talked about here and um, here we can see natural spacing because the teeth are triangular. So there's a natural space where they touch at the top, but then there's space between them. So as I say, what's important to understand is it's actually beneficial to have little spaces because you can clean them effectively with little brushes and it's less likely to trap food and bacteria. So another solution apart from adding something is removing a part, which is contouring. So what that is, is like um, enamel shaping. So this involves um, polishing some minor edges. For example, these front teeth are like moderately slightly longer, but the lateral incisors are very short. So the disproportion between a very long tooth with a curved edge 
next to a short tooth with a straight edge creates a big difference. So here contouring has been done to harmonize the edges and make it a bit more even basically. So I hope you found that useful and it just helps you understand that there's more to improving your smile than just the position of the teeth and we'll hope to see you next time. Thank you.